Hi, welcome to the video solution for past paper. This is ZXLIEL Physics uh, specimen paper. Basically, this is a very short video of only one question that I forgot to include in my regular video. This is question number 15 of uh, a specimen paper of unit one. Uh, it's all about new specifications. So let's start question number 15. Uh, it was all about uh, a scale vector diagram. So the diagram shows a ship used to carry heavy loads. Two tugboats are used to guide the ship into port applying forces as shown. So this is the ship and two tugboats, tugboat call, let's call it one and tugboat two. So these two tugboats are, are applying forces. Tugboat one is applying force of 9.5, 10 to the power four Newton. Uh, in the direction of 55 degree with the horizontal and one point second tugboat 1.2 times power 5 Newton horizontal force and this is direction of motion so draw a vector diagram to determine the resultant force acting on the ship due to the tugboat so they are saying you need to draw a vector diagram and remember whenever they give you some vector maybe uh, forces or any other vectors uh, you and they ask you to draw vector diagrams so generally they uh, expect you to draw a scale vector a scale vector diagram and then a scale vector mean you will have to convert given vectors into centimeter that means you need to convert this Newton into centimeter so you can draw arrows with equivalent um, vector in terms of length so let's just choose the scale so this is 9.5 and this is 1.2 there's one more thing that you uh, you should keep uh, in your mind whenever vectors are given in uh, 10 to the powers like 10 to the power so before choosing a scale make sure that all the powers of 10 should have a you know same power same um, uh, prefixes of 10 to the power 10 to the power 4 and 10 to the power 5 so uh, they have a different power so you need to convert either 9.5 into 10 to the power 5 or uh, 1.2 convert into 10 to the power 4 so in my opinion it is easy to convert 10 to the power 4 so basically 1.2 into 10 to the power 5 if you shift this decimal right side then the power of 10 is decreased so it becomes 12 into 10 to the power 4 newton so now you have two forces 9.5 10 to the power 4 and 12 into 10 to the power 4 newton because 10 powers are same so you can choose your scale so you choose the scale as uh, this is 12 and this is 9.5 so one centimeter identical to or is equivalent to uh, 2 into 10 to the power 4 Newton and that means you just need to show this scale only but for your understanding if you choose this scale so for um, 12 into 10 to the power 4 Newton you are going to draw 6 centimeter uh, long arrow and for um, 9.5 into 10 to the power 4 newton force you have to draw 4.75 centimeter you can round this off till 4.8 centimeter because 4.75 is difficult to draw exact you know exactly so we can round it off 4.8 centimeter now the, the the important thing is remember a scale vector diagram you always have to use ruler and protector ruler and protractor to draw arrows and angles and if you see the diagram and uh, how forces are acting so let's just discuss a free body diagram first so this is the ship and one force is acting due to tugboat one this is called it f1 which is 9.5 and this force is horizontal force f2 so you have to join these vector 
head to tail in order to find their resultant in a scale vector so you can imagine that head of the head of the uh, first f1 force is joined tail of the uh, second so this f2 you have to join here something like this according to scale vector but it should be as per given uh, diagram meaning you cannot change the direction you cannot change angle so uh, the idea of drawing a scale vector diagram is first you draw a horizontal line of any length and then uh, you need to draw F1 force which is 9.5 as per scale you have to draw 4.8 centimeter long arrow uh, at angle of 55 degree and how do you measure this is important point 55 degree so what do you do you take your protector I'm using let's say you take your protector and choose a point on this dotted line anywhere it's your choice it's according to your you know uh, your uh, region or, or, or grid line uh, that you know uh, provided in the paper so let's suppose this is the center and you put protector something like this this is the protector and then you measure angle 55 in this direction 55 degree so this is 10 20 30 40 50 and then 55 suppose this suppose this is 55 and once you measure angle 55 degree you remove your protector so remove your protector and then draw a line of 4.8 centimeter draw a line of 4.8 centimeter at joining these two point so if you join i'm just assuming this is a vector of 4.8 centimeter i don't have any choice to draw a straight line but you make sure that you are using ruler so this line should be straight uh, with because your drawing will be ruler set the length of this arrow is uh, is 4.8 so this length should be 4.8 centimeter and you put downward arrow and you mark this angle as 55 so this is the scale diagram of vector 1 and then you join tail of the second vector so this is your first vector and tail of the second vector second vector is 6 centimeter long according to scale and you put your ruler horizontal on a uh, on a horizontal dotted line and six centimeter long arrow so six centimeter long arrow this is your second vector because the second force is horizontal force and now your resultant force will be when you join uh, tail of the first vector with the head of the second vector so with the help of a ruler again please I don't have any option uh, here to draw a straight line so that's why I'm just drawing with hands but you will be drawing with the ruler so all the arrows should be straight and you join tail of the first with head of the second so you will have this arrow pointing towards the second vector this is your resultant vector this is your resultant vector or resultant force and I did this on a piece of paper and I found that if you do if you use this scale and you draw exactly as I showed here so this length if you measure from ruler this length you will find 9.7 plus minus 0.1 something like that 0 0.1 centimeter is plus minus 1 is acceptable so this is your resultant vector and then you can convert this uh, length into your uh, Newton according to scale so you can say that 9.7 centimeter is equal to when you multiply with 2 so answer will be 19.4 uh, into 10 to the power 
फोर न्यूटन सो दैट्स हाउ यू फाइंड योर रिजल्ट फोर्स एंड दिस इज द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ योर रिजल्ट एंड देन आफ्टर फाइंडिंग मैग्नीट्यूड यू विल हैव टू फाइंड एंगल of the that resultant once you do that so your angle is you can measure angle from horizontal force or from uh, this uh, uh, the the first force which is making 55 i measured that angle and i found that this angle is 31 degree so this is the direction of resultant force and that's how you solve this question according to scale vector diagram and this is the magnitude so this is the grid all the working that i showed here you will have to do on this grid like you can uh, you know you start with with this horizontal line and then you put a, a protector here and draw vector line something like that and then you will find a resultant vector and then this is magnitude and this is direction The ship has a velocity of 4 meter per second in the direction of 1.2 10 to the power 5 newton force. Calculate the rate at which work is done uh, on the ship by the tugboat that provides that uh, uh, by by the force. So you need to find rate of work. If you see rate of work is nothing, but this is power. So you have two approaches. You can use uh, P is equal to work done upon time. or because force is given and velocity is given so i am using direct formula p is equal to f into v so force multiplied by velocity this is another formula for work so you multiply force and the velocity so p is equal to force is 1.2 into 10 to the power 5 newton times uh, 4 which is velocity so power will be equal to uh, 4.8 into 10 to the power 5 watt or second option is second option is power is work done upon time so you can use that uh, equation work done is a uh, is force into distance so again distance upon time so force and distance upon time is velocity that's what you can do that uh, this is the power question number 2 this tugboat has two engine each of power 950 kw calculate the efficiency so you need to find efficiency efficiency is nothing but output power output power divided by input power output power we have calculated so 4.8 into 10 to the power 5 watt divided by input input this is the input power from one engine and the the the, uh, the boat has two engines so the total input power will be twice of 950 kilo don't forget kilo 10 to the power 3 when you solve this so you will get answer 0.252 multiply by 100 so if you times by 100 so you can say 25% this is the efficiency uh, of the tugboat thank you very much i hope you understand uh, all the working um, have a nice time thank you very much